In my last video, I celebrated Halloween by showing the process of making an eerie green spirit flame from scratch. Though I was pretty excited with the results, the original goal of that video was to make a green flame candle, which I've yet to succeed in. However, the day after Halloween, I came up with an idea I wanted to try, so I thought I'd post a quick follow-up. To start, I took a walk to a nearby freshwater spring. Near this spring grows a type of marsh grass called rush. Believe it or not, these thick blades of grass have been used as candles for hundreds of years. Once dried, chopped into suitable lengths, and dipped in fat, they're called rush lights. I'm a big fan of rush lights. I keep a few handy as emergency candles, and I made myself this little armadillo as a rush light holder, out of my alchemist's clay. Now I'd like to see how they burn with the last of my ghostly copper ion fuel. First, I need to peel off one side of the grassy sheath to expose the inner pith of the rush grass. This cottony pith acts like a wick and is what makes the whole thing work. Now I carefully purge just a drop of the fuel onto the pith. The rush drew it up rapidly, and with that, it's ready to go. Now I just light the rush. At first, I was amazed. I really thought I'd made the perfect green flame candle, but the fire quickly streamed down the full length of the fuel and became a blazing jet of color that rapidly burnt out. It's clear alcohol fuel combusts far too easily to be used in a rush light this way. Though I've yet to succeed at making a proper spooky candle, I still thought it was pretty enough to share.